In this video, I'm going to be talking about many-to-many -many relationships in SQL Alchemy. So a many-to-many -many relationship is one that occurs when you have multiple records in a table mapping onto many records in another table. For example, we may have a customer table and a product table. Now, we can know that many customers can buy many products, and many products can be bought by many, many by very many customers. Now, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how we can create two tables that have a many-to-many -many relationship. So let's get started. What I have here is a simple import. So I have imported OS, and I used it to get the directory in which we are. So we're going to use this record to actually come up with one connection string that's going to allow us to create our database. So I'm going to start by creating our connection string. So our connection string is going to be, so I'm just going to actually call it connection string, and this will be equal to uh, so we're going to use SQLite, we shall keep things simple, so I'll just say SQLite and then once we are here, when we shall just concatenate it to our, so I'll just basically join, so I'll say os.path.join Now we shall go ahead and uh, connect our base data variable, which is basically the name where we are in our folder as well as the name of the simple SQLite database that we shall create. So this is actually going to be, I'm just actually going to call it site.sqlite3 in this video. So once we have this, then I'm going to go ahead and create our base class. So our base class is going to help us to create the various tables that we're going to use for this video. So I'll do is to import that from SQL Alchemy. So I'll just come and say from SQL Alchemy, I am going to go ahead, actually it's going to be from sqlalchemy.ext and uh, dot declarative. I'll import the base, the declarative base function. And what this does is to enable us to basically create our base class. So I'll just come and create our base class right here. So I'll just say that our base class is going to be equal to declarative base. And once we have this, then I'm going to also import the create engine function that's going to allow us to create a database using our connection string. So I'll just come right here and say from SQL Alchemy, I am going to import a lot of stuff. So I'll do it like this. So the first thing I'm going to import is going to be our create engine function. Now once we have our create engine function, I'm going to create an engine variable. So I'll just come right here and say that our engine is going to be equal to our create engine function. And right here, when we have our create engine function, so I'm actually going to remove this import right here. And we're going to have, in this case, what we shall have is going to be our connection connection string. So once you have our connection string, I'll go ahead and create our tables. So right now, what you're going to model out is going to be a customer and a product table. So I'm just going to simply come and demonstrate it right here. I'm going to create a simple doc string. And this doc string is going to have most of what we shall need to create our tables. So the first thing is going to be our customer table. So we're going to have a customer. And the customer will have the following attributes. For example, they'll have an ID, which is going to be an integer. And this is most likely going to be the primary key of that table. Then we shall also have the name of the customer. So this name is going to be a string. So now I'm going to go ahead and create the various attributes a product will have. So for example, when you create a class of product, in this case, what you're going to have is an ID, and the ID is going to be an integer that will also be a primary key to the product. Now, once you have this name, we are also going to have extra information about a product, such as the name of the product, which shall be a string, as well as the price of the product, which is actually going to be an integer. Now, once we have these two tables, in creating a many-to-many -many relationship between these tables. We are going to need an association table that's going to allow us to have keys to all of these tables. So every time we shall create a customer instance that basically maps onto a product, we shall need to keep track of the product ID as well as the customer ID. So today I'm just going to model this out. So I'll just create our association table. I'll just basically call this our association. And this association table is going to be having our fields. So in this case, we shall have two fields such as the product ID, so this is actually going to be uh, an integer, but it will be a foreign key. So this will be a foreign key to our product table. So actually we have, we're going to call the name table product, uh, product ID, and then we shall also call this our customer ID. So I'll just say customer 
ID is going to be an integer which will be a foreign key to our customers actually I'm going to call the tables customers so in this case we shall have uh, customers dot id now once i have this thing i'll go ahead and create these tables so to do that we create a database class right here so i'll just use that base class to create our tables so i'm going to first begin by creating a class of customer so this is actually going to be our customer class and this is going to inherit from base once we have this we shall have to specify our table name so i'll say nanda table name and this is going to be equal to so in this case we shall call this customers now once we have this then i'm going to specify an id so an id our id is going to be a column so i'm going to import it, import all of this from sql alchemy i'll just come right here and then say i'll actually remove this so in this case we're going to say we're going to need a column which is going to be a uh, Actually, we shall also need our integer, we shall also need uh, something like string. And once we have this, then I'll go ahead and just stay clean this up so that we have this input. So I'll just come right here. So we need to create this as an integer. So this column is going to be an integer and it will also be our primary key. So I'll say primary key is going to be equal to true. Now, once we have our primary key equals to true, I'm going to go ahead and create the name of the customer because we have it as one of the fields that we specify for our customer. So I'll just come right here and say that we're going to have a column, and this column is going to be for our customer. So I'll just say we're going to have a customer. And actually, this is actually going to be a column, which is going to be a string. Sorry for that. Then this is not going to be now, so we shall put a nullable constraint by saying nullable. It's going to be equal to false so let's say false so once we have this i'm going to correct this and once we have this thing i'm going to simply go ahead and create a simple function that's going to return a string representation of this current object so i'll just come right here and say def dunder repre so it's going to be dunder repre so i'll pass in self and then this will simply return uh, our object so i'll say f and then in this case i'm just going to uh, write a simple demonstration so i'll just say customer and then right in here i'll say self dot in this case i'll say name so it's actually going to just return this representation every time we shall query for a customer now i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for our so in this case i'll do the same thing for our product so i'll just say class and this is going to be a class for a product so once we have this and i'll go ahead and create our product so i'll just say base and then we shall have a table name so i'll basically copy these two since we're going to have them as well so i'll just come right here and add them so we're going to have a table name and in this case our table name is going to be product so i'll just say products and once you have this then i'll come right here and all i'll do is to add the name of the product so it's actually going to be the same as column string and nullable equals false so oh, sorry for this so once i have this i'm just going to simply copy our column for the name and paste it right here and i'm going to go ahead and create the price column as well so the price column is going to be a column and in this case this is going to be our integer column and one thing we're going to have here is going to be nullable equals to false so once i have this then what i'll do is to go ahead and create also our stream representation so i'll simply copy what you have right here and i'll paste it in here so once i do that then i'll simply go ahead and change what we have here so i'll change this to product and then this will be the name of the product so since you have the name field you don't have to change this now we are actually done with creating our customer and product model now the next thing we're going to do is create our association table now remember this association table is going to link the two tables we have in here since we actually have a combination of many uh, one to many relationships so what we're going to do is to come right here and create our association table so i'm just going to come and create this table which i'm going to call our association table and this is going to be an instance of the table class so i'll import that from sql alchemy i'm just going to come right here and what i'll do is to import our table 
And once we have that in our comment, say that our association table is going to be a table, and this is going to have a name, so we shall just call this association. And once we have this, then we have to specify the metadata. This metadata comes from our base uh, class, so I'll just say base dot meta, sorry for this, metadata. And then once we have that, then we shall go ahead and specify which columns we have in this association table. So to do that, I'm just going to come and say that we're going to have a column. This is actually going to be a column. So our column in this case is going to be uh, an integer. Actually, it's going to be a foreign key. So what I'll do is actually first give in the name. And that name in this case is actually going to be, so let's do it first as a customer ID. Then we shall also have another attribute, which is going to be the type. And in this case, our type is going to be the foreign key. Then we shall specify what foreign key is going to be. So this foreign key is going to be a foreign key to our customer's ID field. So to do that, I'll just say customers dot ID. And once I've done that, then I'll go ahead and also specify that we are also going to have a column that's going to be a foreign key to our product class right here. So to do that, I'm just going to come and say that we're going to have our column, and then this will be our product ID. So I'll say product ID, and then I'll say it's going to be having a foreign key, and then right here I shall say that we're going to have a product since that's the name of our table and then the ID so I'll just come and say product actually it's going to be products dot ID and once I do that then what I'll do is to go ahead and link these tables via a relationship so we need some way we can be able to access products that belong to a customer as well as to access products bought by us uh, I mean products customers who bought a product since it's a uh, many to many relationship. So you can do that is by creating that relationship. So I'll add an extra attribute onto this class, but it's going to be the product attribute. So I'll say uh, products, so shall have products. And in this case, I'm going to create a relationship. So this will be a relationship. Sorry for this. I'm just going to come and say relationship. Now this relationship is going to be to a certain model. So I'm going to import the relationship from sqlalchemy.orm. So I'm just going to come right down here. I'll say from uh, sqlalchemy.orm. I am going to go ahead and import the following. So I'll import our relationship first. We're going to import other things as time goes on. So once we import our relationships, I'm going to go ahead and come just down here. Sorry for that. And once we do that, I'm just going to come and create that relationship. So I'm just going to come and say, we're going to have our relationship, and then I'm going to specify the model to which this is related. So that's going to be our product model. And once you have that, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically uh, mention which kind of uh, secondary, uh, so we're going to actually have this attribute of secondary, which is going to be equal to our association table. So I'm just going to add it to our association table. And we're also going to have a back populate. So it's basically going to describe how we are going to query for uh, customers uh, who, I mean, the products the customer bought. So once we have this, since we're going to use back populates, I mean, to say back populates is going to be equal to, in this case, we shall say uh, it's going to actually be to our customers. And once you have this, then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for, for this model. So I'll just come and say that we're going to have customers. And in this case, we're going to have this being a relationship. So the first thing we shall add in here is going to be the, it's going to be the, the name of the model we are relating to. So this is actually going to be our customer model. And once we have this, then I'll go ahead and specify secondary to be equal to. So it's actually going to be secondary, and this will be equal to our association table. So once you have this, then I'm going to go ahead and also provide our back populates. So our back populates is actually going to be equal to. So in this case, we shall have products. So once you have this, then 
what I'm going to do is to go ahead and create this database that contains the tables that we've described based on these models. So to do that, we shall use our base class. So I'm just going to come and say base dot meta. So I'll just say it's going to be metadata dot create all. So once I have this, then I'll actually even connect this to an engine. So I'm just going to come and say engine. So once we have this thing, I'm going to go ahead and run this file. It's going to help us to create a database. Let me first check if we don't have any errors. So it seems like we have an error here. Let's see what happens. So product is equal to a relationship to product secondary table. It's actually here. I need to add a comma, so I'm going to add it. And now hoping that everything is fine. When I run this file, we expect that it's going to go ahead and create our database. So I'm going to head over to my terminal. I'm using Windows Subsystem for Linux. So I'm going to go to my terminal right here. And what I'll do is to basically find out which files we have, which is our main.py. So I'll go ahead and run it with Python 3 main.py. And that will go ahead and create our database. So to demonstrate our database, I'm going to go ahead and open it up within this GUI tool known as the DB browser for SQLite. So it works cross-platform. It can be installed on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and open our database. So we've created this as site.sqlite3 within our folder. Then I'm going to go ahead and open this. So when I open it, we have our tables created. So we have our association table. And all it has is the customer ID as well as our product ID. Now I have our customers, uh, and these are the various fields they have. We have our products, and these are the various fields they have. So let's go ahead and populate this database to have some data. So what I'm going to do is to head it over to VS Code. And right within our VS Code, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. So I'm going to create a file here. And this file is going to be one for populating our database. So I'll just keep it simple. I'll call it populate.py. And within populate.py, we shall need a session object. So a session object is the one that's going to allow us to basically create, read, update, and delete our data in our database. So I'm just to create, I'm going to create that by coming right at the top of our code. And from SQL dot from SQL I'm simply going to go ahead and import our session maker. Now, once I create our session maker, it's that class that's going to allow us to basically create an object of type session that allows us to do the different things that we need. So I'm just going to come right here and at the bottom right here, I'll just say session is going to be equal to an instance of session maker. And right after creating that instance, we shall go ahead and bind it to an engine. So I'll say bind is equal to engine. Now after binding this to our engine, we are going to go ahead and populate our database with some objects. So I'll just come to our populate.py and I'm going to import these things from our main module. So I'm going to import our session first and then I'll import our product as well as our customer. So I'm going to say customer. Now once we have this, I'm going to go ahead and basically create some customers. So I'll just begin by creating customer one. So I'll just say customer and that customer is going to be an instance of customer. So the only field we have here is actually going to be the name of that specific customer. So to do that, I'll just say that we're going to have a name. So I'll say name is going to be equal to customer one. And then I'm going to create other customers. So once I do that, I'm just going to come and say that we're going to have customer. So this is going to be customer two and customer three. So I'm just going to come and say customer two as well as customer three. So once you have this, I'm just going to come right here. So this will be our customer two and this will be our customer three. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So we shall use our session object to this basically save this to our database. So what I'm going to do is to say session dot add all and I'll create an iterable, which is a list in this case. And this list is going to basically have our customer. So I'll say customer customer two, and then customer three. Now, once I do this, then I'm going to use our session to basically save these changes to our database. So I'll say session dot commit. And once I do this, then 
all I need to do in this case to populate our database is to run this file. So I'll head over to our terminal and I'll run python3 populate.py and this is going to add our object to so our database. So to do that, I'm just going to come and explore. So I'll go to our database here. So right now we have our database. So I'll go to the browse data tab right here. So and head over to our customer. So now we have customer one, customer two, and customer three. So this means that we populated our database. Now we're going to need some way of also creating our product. So I'm going to head over to our products right here. So what I'll do is to create some product. Uh, I'm going to actually create some product instances. So what I'll do is to actually create product. So I'll say product. So I'll say product and product is going to be equal to an instance of our product class. So I'll say product and then we shall have the name of the product. Let's say uh, we're going to have this as chicken and then we can have a simple price. Let's say 2000 and then let's say product two is also going to be an instance of product. So I'm just going to basically copy this and paste it. So we shall have this. So let's say this is actually going to be bread. I'll actually say bread and then we shall have this, let's say bread equal to 1000. So if I say product and this is going to be equal to product and here we shall have name equals to let's say uh, milk and then we shall have the price equals to so in this case we shall say let's say 500 so once we have this then the way we can be able to add these objects and associate them to a particular customer is by using this syntax so what i'll do is to actually query for a customer so i'm just going to uh, remove these customer objects and what I'll do is to come and query for a particular customer. Now let's say we want to actually, let's actually query for all the customers. So let's say we want to basically add all these objects onto a certain customer. Let's say the customer bought all these objects. So what we're going to do that is by saying, so I'll say a customer, I'm actually going to first query for a customer. And after querying for the customer, it's going to be uh, using our session. So I'm going to say session.query. Then I'll try to get that specific class of customer. It's actually going to be our customer class. Then after that, I'm going to come and say dot filter because we need to filter by, then I'll find the ID field of the customer. So I'll say customer dot ID. And once we have that and you want the first object, so I'll say dot first. So we want to associate some of these objects onto a customer instance. Let me also query for customer to actually what we need here is a specific ID. So I'll say customer ID is equal to one, meaning we want a customer with ID of one. So I'm going to come right here and also query for customer two. So I'm just going to change this to customer two as well as change the ID to ID of two. Now, once we have this, then uh, it seems like we have a problem somewhere. So it's actually going to be our customer.id. In this case, it will be equal to one. Now, once we have this, then what I'll do is to go ahead and associate some of the objects we've created for products to our customers. So if we want to add a customer to a product, what we do is to actually do see, actually we make use of the relationships we have right here. So for example, we can add a product onto customer.product. So what we're going to do is to come right here. I'm just going to come and what I will do is to say customer dot product and then I'm going to just append to the list of products. So to append I'll just say let's say if we're going to add product which is our product one in this case. So when I do this I'm actually going to append our first product and once we have this uh, when I save this uh, and commit, so I'll say session. Actually, what I'll do is to first add our product to the database. So I'll just come right here and say session dot commit. So when I commit this to our database, we expect that this is going to actually commit this to our database and associate them to our customer. So once we have this, I'm just going to come and run our file. So actually, let me first remove this. Uh, the statements right here. So 
all I'm going to do is run this and we expect that it's going to add some products for our database. So I'm just going to come right here and when I run populate.py, now we see that we're going to have some products. Now when I go to our association table right here, we now see that we have a product ID of product one associated to the customer of ID one. So what I'll do is to come to our products and right now we see that we have the product of ID one associated to a user of ID one, which means that our many to many relationship is working. So if let's say I wanted to access uh, all the products that this user has. So the way we we'll do that is by simply coming right here. And what I'll do is to say that I'm actually just going to come and say print. And what I'll do is to print. So let's say I'm going to comment this out. And what I'll do is to print uh, our customer. So I'll just say customer dot products. So when I do this, we expect that it's going to print a list of all the products that this customer has. So what I'm going to do is to run our file. And now we see that we have one product that belongs to that particular customer. So when you go back to our code, let's say we wanted to actually access also the, the various customers who bought this product, we can do that by saying, uh, let's say we have a product with an ID of one, which is our chicken. By the way, what, what I'm going to do is to actually add uh, all the, the products with a particular customer. So let's say the customer bought all this, so I'm just going to uncomment this. So right here I have our pen, I'm going to now add product two, and let's say uh, customer dot append product three. So I'm just going to say customer dot products dot append dot append. And in this case, I'll say product product three. So when I save this and run our, so I'm going to run this file. So when I go to my terminal right here, I'm going to run this and Right now we see that all these products have been added. So what means what this means is actually that when you print customer dot products, since all the products are associated to that customer, now we're going to have uh, this customer having all these products so that when you print customer dot products, we expect those products. So the same thing will happen if we change this to let's say customer to and we say customer to dot append and we run this. So when I run this, what you expect is we're going to save these products and we shall have customer to basically have in this product. So when I run this file, so right now we see that the customer has all these products. So we actually, customer to do the paint session to commit. So this will actually print all the products associated to that particular customer. So if we go to our association table right here, I'm sorry for this. So if we go to our association table right here, what we have are the different associations. So for example, we have a, ID, a custom of ID1 having actually all products. So let's say I wanted to remove uh, a product from this customer. So what I'll do is actually go and create a new file. So we need to create this new file and call it delete.py. So from here, I'll say from, from main, I'm going to import our session. I'm going to import our product model as well as our customer model. And once I import them, then I'm going to query for a specific customer and a specific product. Now let's say right here we have a customer one uh, related to customer of ID one. So what you can do is to actually delete a customer or delete a product. So I'll do is to say a customer is going to be equal to, so I'm going to use a session to query for a certain customer. So I'll say session.query and then we shall specify our model, in this case, which is actually going to be customer. And then we shall basically filter by the ID. So I'll say filter. And if the ID is equal to, let's say, one, then we want to return the first object. Now, once we have the first object, then we shall also query for a specific product. So let's say product. And in this case, we shall have session dot query. And actually, this is actually going to be query. So once you have this in, we're going to actually query for product. So we shall have this as product. Now, once you have this in, we also want a product with a certain ID. So we shall say filter. 
and then if the id actually it's going to be the customer id as well as the product id so shall say customer.id and then you shall also here say uh, product product.id so this is actually going to be one and we shall say dot first now since we have this so actually have this as our session so once you have this then all i'm going to do is to basically uh, remove this delete a product from a customer so the way we do that is by saying so let's say customer dot product so this is going to be the product then we shall say dot remove and then what you want to remove is the product so once we have this then i'm just going to go and use our session to commit this to our database so i'll say session dot commit and when you run this file we're going to see that a product associated with this customer with this id is going to be actually deleted so when i go right here to our terminal and run python 3 and this is actually going to be our delete.py so when you go back to our table right here when i refresh we now see that that product uh, that was associated to the user of id1 with id1 has actually been deleted in this video we've been able to look at how we can configure many to many relationships and how we can basically populate our database as well as how we can delete our objects from our database if you found this video helpful please consider liking uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye